Okay, so now the radiator can just be pushed forward. Let me see if I can just pull the condenser up. So let's see. So I got the condenser over here released. So that's good. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Perfect. I'm going to try to push the radiator forward. There we go. So here comes our AC condenser. Here's the old condenser. And this is our dryer. So this is the dryer. The dryer comes with the condenser. Okay. So I'm gonna get this condenser out of the way. Okay. So condenser is out. This condenser has hooks. There's a hook over here that hooks on this side of the radiator. So this is what's holding it against the radiator. And then there's another hook, another mount, I guess. There's this mount over here that goes on this side of the radiator. Okay. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. So here is our brand new AC condenser. So now we're gonna install it. What I like about using dealer parts is that when you install dealer parts, they fit very well and they come with pretty much everything that you need. Okay, so we just, at this point, we just have to make sure that the condenser is lined up. And then we're gonna push it down. We also have to make sure that the radiator is sitting and then we're gonna push the condenser down just like that. I'm making sure that the condenser is sitting well on its mount. Okay. Everything looks good. All right, guys. We're good to go. Okay. The AC condenser is installed. The radiator is back on its mount. So we're good to go. So now we're gonna install the radiator mount back on. Alright, the AC condenser is installed, so now we're gonna reinstall the lines for the AC condenser.
I did replace the AC condenser lines o-ring off camera so it's recommended to replace these green o-rings I did replace them off camera so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that if you're doing this job always make sure you replace your AC condenser o-rings Alright, radiator is back on, AC condenser, new AC condenser is installed. Now I'm gonna bring up the cooling fan assembly. Here comes our fan assembly. So we have to make sure that our fan is lined up. Just like that, we're gonna push it down. Perfect. We're gonna reconnect the electrical connector of the fan. We're gonna reconnect this surge tank tube. And then the radiator hose, upper radiator hose. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, right? That went pretty smoothly. All right. So now we're going to reinstall this tube. So now we're gonna put coolant in the radiator. There was a little bit of coolant that came out, so we're gonna fill up the radiator now. Let's put coolant in the radiator. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to remove the AC compressor. I'm going to disconnect the AC compressor electrical connector just like that. And then I'm going to undo the AC compressor lines. So I'm going to disconnect the first AC compressor line. Just like that. And then I'm going to disconnect the second one. So here comes the second bolt for the second AC compressor line. I'm going to disconnect it. So here's the line. We're just gonna push it out of the way. So that's good. So we got the AC compressor lines undone. Actually, while we're up here, we can already go ahead and undo the expansion valve. I'm gonna replace the expansion valve while we're up here before we remove the AC compressor.
in case you are wondering what I'm doing now, so I'm removing the expansion valve. So we have it. We might as well just replace it, you know. Why not? So the expansion valve is mounted right on the evaporator. Okay, so I got the bolt for the expansion valve removed. So now our expansion valve should come out. I'm just going to pull it out like that. So here it is. Here is our old expansion valve. Okay, so I'm going to get it out of the way. So this is the old one. I'm going to remove it and then I'll bring the new one in. So here is our new expansion valve. This is what we're going to install. So everything is lined up. The new expansion valve is installed. Now we're going to grab the bolts for it and install the bolts I'm gonna have to use both hands to tighten the expansion valve bolts I'm gonna tighten these bolts off camera and then I'll bring you guys back up so we can connect these lines I have tightened the expansion valve bolts we tightened these two bolts that hold the expansion valve to the evaporator so now we're gonna connect these lines I'm going to have to use both hands to keep these lines steady as I get this bolt started, the bolt that goes over here. Okay, I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll bring you guys back up. I got the lines connected to the expansion valve, so now we're going to tighten these bolts over here. Alright, so that's good. The lines are tightened to the new expansion valve. So now let's remove the AC compressor. I'm going to undo the first two bolts for the AC compressor. I'm going to get them loose already. Alright, so to get access to the AC compressor belt, we're going to have to remove the tire so we can get access to the AC compressor belt tensioner. I'm going to lift the vehicle so we can remove the front passenger tire. This is the bottom of the AC compressor. So I'm going to undo these two bolts over here. These are 12 millimeter bolts. I'm going to undo these two. We have two more up there that already undid when we were under the hood. So I got those undone. They're cracked. They're loose. I'm going to undo these ones also. And then we're going to remove the AC compressor belt. We're going to undo this bolt over here. We're going to back it off to get the tension off of the belt. There is a nut over here I have to undo. Then I'm going to back this bolt off. The belt is going to become loose. We're going to remove the belt. And after I undo this bolt, the AC compressor is going to come out. Once the compressor comes out, I'm going to remove it from underneath here. I'm going to get it out and then I will install a new AC compressor. I undid the AC compressor belt tensioner. So now we can remove the AC compressor belt. I also undid this bolt, so these bolts are loose. I removed the top ones, so now the AC compressor should be able to come out. So we got the bolts removed, now our new AC compressor should come out. 
So here comes the AC compressor. I'm gonna remove it. We're gonna gently lower the AC compressor. I was able to manage to remove the AC compressor from under here. So now we're gonna install our brand new AC compressor. Let me see if I can manage. So here comes our brand new AC compressor. We're gonna get the bolts on. All right, our AC compressor is installed. Everything looks good. Our brand new AC compressor is installed. So we're good to go. So now I'm tightening the AC compressor bolt. All right, so that's good. All these bolts are tight. Now, you don't wanna go super tight on this bolt. You don't wanna go Gorilla tight on these. You can use a torque wrench if you want. The torque spec for the AC compressor bolts is 35 foot pound. So I didn't use a torque wrench. I used my internal torque wrench. All right, so we're gonna tighten these uh, AC compressor lines. And after that, we're gonna install the belt and then we should be good to go. All right, so we got the lines installed, the AC compressor lines installed. 
So now I'm going to install the belt, the AC compressor belt back on. We have installed our new AC compressor, so now let's lower the vehicle so we can charge the AC system. We are back under the hood. I have reinstalled the tire off camera. So now I'm going to connect the electrical connector of the AC compressor. And then we're gonna charge the system. And after that, we're gonna start the engine. Alright, so everything looks good, everything is reconnected, our AC compressor is installed, so we're good to go. So now I'm going to turn on the AC machine, I'm going to get our service lines connected to the system. We have our service lines connected to the AC system. So now we're going to vacuum the system. We're going to send vacuum in the system before we charge it. Let's do it for five minutes. Let's turn the vacuum test on. So at this point, we're going to let the machine do its thing. When the machine is done, we're going to charge the AC system. The AC machine is done sending vacuum in the AC system. The system passed the leak test, so we're good to go. So now we're gonna charge the system. This system takes 1.16 pounds of refrigerant. So that's how much refrigerant we're gonna charge in the system. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this already. I did put a little bit of uh, refrigerant oil in the AC compressor before I installed it. So I am going to just put one ounce of refrigerant oil in it. We're gonna charge this on both sides. So now I'm gonna let the AC machine charge the AC system and when the machine is done charging the system, I will bring you guys back up so we can start the engine and verify our repair. The AC machine is almost done charging the system. The machine tells us to disconnect the high side service line. And then we're gonna go in the vehicle and start the engine. We're gonna start the engine and turn the AC on. We're gonna turn the AC on. Ooh, this feels good. So the AC is on. Let's go under the hood and see what we got. The compressor is on, the clutch is on, on the AC compressor, it's no longer cutting in and out, so this is good guys, this is a good sign, this tells me that this is fixed, remember before when we turned on the AC, the clutch on the compressor was cutting in and out, so this is good, so now, Let me turn this off. It's gonna equalize the pressures. 
So this is good guys. This is awesome. I like what I see. So this is fixed. We have a message here on the machine. It says close coupler valves and disconnect service hoses from vehicle. So we're good to go. So now I'm gonna close this coupler valve. We're gonna disconnect this. Now the machine is going to equalize the pressure, so we're good. This is fixed, guys. This is fixed. I like what I see. Check this out. Our AC compressor clutch is no longer cutting in and out. This is nice. So now I'm going to grab my thermometer so we can go in the vehicle and measure the temperature of the air that's coming out of the vent in the car. Okay, so let's go in the car now and check the temperature of the air that's coming out of these vents. This feels good. So we're gonna measure the temperature of the air that's coming out of here. Oh, check this out. The air that's coming out of these vents is 48 degrees. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Very nice. It feels nice in this car. The AC works very well now, very good. Okay, so we're good to go. This is fixed, guys. I'm gonna rev up the engine. This is great. This is wonderful. All right, the AC is now working. We're good to go. This is fixed. Let's go back under the hood and see what we got. And then we're gonna wrap up this video. So we're good. Everything looks good. Here is how much refrigerant we put in the system. So that's good. Now there's one more thing I wanna do. I'm gonna connect. I wanted to wait for these gauges to come down to zero. I'm going to connect these lines again. Remember before when we were doing our testing, the high side was going really high. It was going all the way up to 400 psi and then the low side was going to about 60 or 80 psi if I remember correctly Basically, we had high pressures before So now that we have a new AC compressor installed new condenser new expansion valve The problem here was a bad AC compressor. I want to take a look at my pressures now to see how much pressure we're gonna have with this new AC compressor. So I'm gonna connect these service hoses again to the system while the car is running. We can do this safely while the car is running. Okay, so this is connected. Now we're gonna connect the low side. I just wanna compare the pressures I have now with what I had before. Now, this step is not really important. You don't have to do this. But I always like to do that. So, just to check, okay? So I got the knob 
on the low side closed let's see what pressure we have on the low side right now the low side is showing us about 32 psi and the AC is working well right now okay the compressor is on okay so compressor on AC works well everything is good we have about 32 psi on the low side so now let's close the high side let's see how much pressure we have on high side remember this was going all the way up to about 400 psi before now let's see what we have on the machine so high side we have about 90 psi you see that there about 90 psi on the high side we're good to go this is fixed so on a good ac system on a hyundai elantra you should have when the ac is on you should have about 32 psi on the low side and about 100 psi on the high side okay so about three times the pressure on the low side so the high side pressure is about three times the pressure of the low side on a good system so that's good and this these pressures can change also based on outside temperature the outside temperature right now here in the shop is about 70 degrees so I like what I see this is good perfect remember the compressor was cutting in and out before it's no longer doing it so this is fixed we're gonna have another happy customer I'm gonna disconnect our service lines from the system we're gonna close this we're gonna disconnect the low side line so we're good to go This is fixed, guys. We are done. This Hyundai Elantra is fixed. Let's do a last check before we wrap up this video. This Hyundai Elantra came to us because the air conditioning was not working. We did some tests. We determined that the AC compressor was defective. We replaced the AC compressor and the AC condenser and the expansion valve now we didn't have to replace the expansion valve but the expansion valve was pretty cheap i went ahead and replaced it okay so now the air conditioning is working very well i drove the vehicle around i had other projects i had to go take care of first before i could film the last part of this video so this is done it works well and right now the outside temperature is 90 degrees so this is perfect weather to test an air conditioning system on the vehicle or any air conditioning because it's so hot outside so now what i'm going to do is i want to show you how well this system is working how well the air conditioning is working and then we're going to wrap up this video so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start the engine and then i'm going to show you the temperature on the outside temperature on my phone and then we're going to measure the temperature of the air that's coming out of these vents over here with the AC on to see if this AC is working. So now let's start the engine first. So as you can see, the engine is running. I'm gonna turn on the AC. Actually, before I turn on the AC, let me show you guys the outside temperature first. So here's the outside temperature. The outside temperature right now is 90 degrees. It's so hot outside. Okay, 90 degrees outside, it's very hot. So now let's turn on the AC to see if the air that's gonna come out of these vents will also be 90 degrees. Okay, so I heard the compressor engage under the hood. So the AC is on. So now let's measure the temperature of the air that's coming out of this vent. Wow, as you can see, the air that's coming out of this vent 
is 61 degrees. Oh, it feels good. Our temperature is dropping. It's dropping down to 56 degrees Fahrenheit. The AC is working, guys. This is good. It feels good sitting over here on the driver's side. The air that's coming out of this vent is 56.3 degrees. And that one over there is 67. Perfect. And then let's measure this one here. This one is 63 degrees. And this temperature is gonna keep going down and the AC stays on as well. Okay, so this is good. This is fixed, guys. We did a great job. This is fixed. We're gonna have another happy customer. So I'm gonna turn off the AC and turn off the engine so we can wrap up this video. This is fixed. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.